Welcome to our exploration of recursive algorithms. Today, we're tackling a question that many find puzzling. How is the value returned in a simple recursive algorithm? Our viewer is curious about the Fibonacci function and how inputting the number five leads to the output of five. Let's break it down together and uncover the magic of recursion. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll go through your question, go through the answers for it, and hopefully that brings you to your solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy to get to that solution just like me. And let's get started. Let's break down the recursive Fibonacci function step by step. The function starts by checking if the input number, n, is less than or equal to one. If n is greater than 1, the function calls itself twice, once with n minus 1 and once with n minus 2. This is where the recursion happens. Now let's see how this works when we input 5. The function will call fib4 and fib3. Each of these calls will further break down into more calls until we reach the base case. As we follow the recursion tree, we can see that fib2 returns 1, fib1 returns 1, and fib0 returns 0. Adding these values together gives us the Fibonacci numbers. Finally, when we sum all the values from our recursive calls, we find that fib of 5 indeed returns 5, which is the fifth Fibonacci number. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In this recursive algorithm, we can visualize the call tree for calculating Fibonacci numbers. Starting with Fib5, it breaks down into Fib4 and Fib3. Each of these calls further divides into smaller Fibonacci calculations. As we continue, FIB3 breaks down into FIB2 and FIB1, while FIB2 further breaks down into FIB1 and FIB0. This pattern continues until we reach the base cases. Finally, we sum all the values from the base cases to get the final result. For FIB5, the total is 5, which is the value returned by the recursive algorithm. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In a recursive algorithm, the value is returned by calling a function repeatedly until it hits a base case, like when n equals 0 or 1. At that point, it stops calling the function and returns a number. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In a recursive algorithm, an implicit stack keeps track of values returned from each call. For example, when calculating the Fibonacci number for n equals 5, the function calls itself multiple times, breaking down the problem into smaller parts. When fib5 is called, it checks if n is less than 3. Since it's not, it calls fib4 and fib3. Eventually, these calls reach the base cases, returning 1 for fib1 and fib2. 
the final result for Fib 5 is 5. This process illustrates how recursive functions work by breaking down complex problems into simpler ones, using a stack to manage the flow of execution and return values. I hope that video helped find the resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a great one. See ya.